Hey folks, so I have a video on the channel that has to do with interceptions and uh, in response, uh, people have been emailing me or even commenting to ask uh, certain questions and to also share their experiences and, uh, you know, get my thoughts in relation to what they've shared. And so I found myself repeating the same thing in various different instances and I thought, you know, it could be more useful to just jump on here and to uh, explain a few things about interceptions uh, from my personal experience. So, so someone emailed me recently and said, you know, according to her, she had read or or um, had seen that interceptions had to do with the the childhood experience or what was lacking in in childhood, and uh, she explained a few things from her. Uh, experience as a child and um, you know how she thought that fits into uh, interceptions and the theory of interceptions now my honest view as someone who works with people in a very practical uh, counseling capacity and as someone who does have uh, intercepted uh, houses or intercepted signs within houses my honest view and my honest experience is that I cannot say that interceptions per se have to do with things that may have been lacking or blocked energies. And I would be very, very reticent about using the fact of interceptions in someone's chart to make certain conclusions just based on the interceptions alone. So what I'm saying is that I would never assume just by interceptions alone, which have to do with how we slice up the chart, what house system we're using, I would never assume from that alone that someone has certain issues. So if someone has um, uh, issues with childhood, I would I would be much more inclined to examine, you know, what's happening with their moon, the moon's aspects, the fourth house, all of that, and and those to me are far more reliable indicators of of you know major life themes and major subjective experiences than just the mere fact of having an interception. So, uh, my biggest issue with many of these theories, they sound very nice, but my biggest issue with these theories about interceptions is that they often attribute, or people are often attributing rather, to interceptions, things and experiences that can be deduced from other uh, chart signatures that are much more reliable. Experiences that have nothing to do with the fact of having interceptions. Or in other words, you can't, I would be, just unwilling to to say to a client well you have scorpio uh in the in the first house uh, intercepted it means that oh you have these childhood issues that would be a very very gross leap and i cannot endorse that at all uh so i i don't believe that the fact of having interceptions uh is a reliable indicator by itself main themes in the chart main experiences, main themes are invariably going to be shown by the planets, their aspects, and all of that. And my view is that perhaps what is uh, necessary is that uh, students of astrology, that they develop more of a competence in understanding uh, these factors, and that will eliminate the need to project onto interceptions other things that are not deducible from just having an interception. So, for example, you know, people say, oh, um, I have Aries uh, in the first house intercepted and, you know, I, I tend to act like an Aries or I, I, I experience this energy in a way that is kind of problematic or is, is sort of strange, but I feel like I'm an Aries in that sense, too. And then they say that and I look at the chart and I see that the moon is in a very tight in conjunct with Mars. And I'm just like, well, there we go. We don't need to, to project onto the interception that this is something that can't really be deduced from the fact of just having an interception. 
or they have a packed first house or some other signature that is far more reliable in terms of deducing the experiences and the, the beliefs and the, the problems or challenges that they have attributed to the interception. So, uh, you know, people want to, they always say, oh, you know, I have this or I have that intercepted. And then invariably I look and I'm saying, but look at this aspect. The aspect is telling you that here it is, moon in conjunct Mars. Um, so, so, so there it is that other signatures in the chart are far more reliable indicators. And I would not hop on to uh, interceptions by themselves as having a lot of import by themselves I would be much more inclined to look at the aspects and those big reliable factors to deduce what is essential and to deduce what is important as a theme in someone's life so that's where I am on the issue I think that people as they, they sound very nice, these theories, but I don't know that they stack up in practice a lot. And I would be completely remiss as someone doing counseling astrology if I took up someone's chart and assumed that because two signs were uh, intercepted, that they have these issues. So that's not what I like to do. I like to make sure that I have some good ground to stand on, talk to the person, understand how the chart and their experiences are stacking up with each other rather than just projecting this theory which I don't which I have not yet seen uh, be valid in actual practice the other thing is that by progression so for example if you're born with uh, Pisces rising uh, let's say in the late degrees for example um, you know your 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 ascendant would progress into Aries and therefore you now have an activation of that sign principle in terms of the schedule of your unfold in terms of the schedule rather of your unfoldment so intercepted signs do become activated by progression progress planets progress angles that kind of thing so you know I would be more looking toward that as opposed to just saying oh well a person has this intercepted and therefore it means this I cannot say that the fact of having an interception by itself is enough for me to deduce anything with certainty. I think that the aspects are much more reliable and are much, much, much more true in terms of being reflective of a person's actual experience. I find that people are often wanting to project a lot onto interceptions that sound in theory very nice and they, it sounds very good, but it just not, it just doesn't stack up uh, in terms of practical astrology in my view in my experience now if if that happens to change for me down the line i will let you know i will update you but i think people need to refine their lenses some more especially those students who are just starting out uh, in other words if somebody has been studying for 20 years or is a counselor or some such um, and with, with, with experience, they're going to have a wider range of lenses to look through. In other words, when you present that person with a chart, they're going to have a lot more lenses to look through to assess the chart. And they may not have to rely on interceptions to mean what they just can't mean. So with, with study, with more time, with more experience, you begin to refine your, your lenses and you begin to have a, a wider series of lenses from which to look through in assessing any chart. So I think that perhaps what needs to happen is that people need to develop more competence uh, in the astrology and perhaps that would it would make them less reliant on this business of interception. So those are my thoughts and the thing about uh, interceptions is that of course, like I've said, they are dependent upon which house system you use, okay? And uh, using quadrant-based house systems, people born in certain latitudes are going to have just more interceptions. It's not a tenable position to assume that people born in these latitudes, therefore, have more of these childhood blockages or issues. It doesn't. It's not a tenable position. So if interceptions mean that people have certain blockages or certain childhood issues, or it would mean that people born 
at certain latitudes have these issues more than other persons and for me that just doesn't seem like a tenable position at all so I would for those reasons um, for, for practical reasons and my experience I would not uh, I would just refrain from projecting too much onto interceptions and I think that makes us um, better counselors and, and better uh, practitioners. So I think we need to just be a bit more cautious about what we attribute to interceptions and look at the chart and what can be relied upon to produce reliable results and uh, what is actually sound and really speaks to a person's experience. So those are my thoughts there. So hope this was helpful and uh, until next time folks, talk soon. Bye.